when I switch it happens. So that's it. Shimona, did the ankle, it seemed like you were moving okay in the second set. Did it start to get worse and worse and bother you more or? At 5-3 in the second set, um, when I turned to hit the inside out forehand, then I felt again, that's why I called to uh, tape it because I was scared not to do something worse. Um, I felt, I, I never like to give up during the match. I don't want to stop the matches, so I just wanted to try to win the second set. I couldn't, so then uh, it was too bad to, to go through. So I said that it's better to calm down. So was it more of a physical, uh, you know, it prevented you from moving the way you wanted to, or is it more a mental sort of distraction to have this injury? No, I had mind? pain. Yeah. I had pain, and I still have pain when I walk. Um, mentally, uh, it's not that bad. So I'm strong, still strong, so I don't uh, panic about this. I had many on the other uh, leg, but this one is new, so uh, I have to be careful with it. Physically, I couldn't run, so um, that's why I didn't do anything in the third set. Overall, I guess we just, you know, you've had this incredible clay court season so far. Does it, knowing that this just is this accident that happened to you, does it make this loss easier at all? You know, you just know that physically you weren't able to compete at your best, and so you're not as, there's no panic about this loss or anything. No, I don't panic about uh, this match. Uh, I mean, she's a great player. She plays uh, really well this year. She won so many tournaments. Uh, no, I don't, uh, I don't panic and I will go to recover fast, as fast as possible, and to go to Roland Garros. It's what I, I'm looking for. What is your recovery and the next couple of days going to look like? I mean, it's only one week. Essentially, till Paris, you I think it's enough. Yeah, yeah, I think it's enough for an ankle, uh, but I have to do MRI to see what it is. But uh, I go home to do that, so uh, tomorrow I will find out. Um, hope, hopefully, it's not that bad. I don't feel it that bad, but I still feel pain, so I have to go and check. Would it have been your decision to just put the racket aside for maybe a day or three in general because you've had a lot of matches over the past? two weeks or so just to maybe get your, your head free? Yeah, and get uh, ready. definitely tomorrow I will not play. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tuesday, I don't know. <laughs> Depends on my leg, but a uh, few days, yeah, I will, uh, I will have a few days off, uh, recovering with everything, and then to start again. Hi, Simona. Uh, do you think you're still the favorite for uh, Roland Garros? No. No, in this moment, no. Just off that, do you think, who do you think is, if not you, who? About 15 players. So just a little bit about Alina um, playing her. You hadn't played her since Sofia a long time ago. So what did you make of her game? How has she improved? What makes her a difficult opponent? Well, I don't remember exactly how she played in Sofia. I don't even remember how I played there, so it's tough. But uh, she's very strong. Uh, we can see that she has won many tournaments this year so far. She played really well. Um, I think she has confidence. She feels uh, the game. And uh, she goes there without, like, nothing to lose. And that's why she's playing great. Uh, 